a little bit about uh, something that happened here. It has been happening here the last about 15 months or so. And those of you that maybe aren't familiar, a young lady named Lauren Hill. And, and yesterday, Lauren Hill passed away. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the story, Lauren Hill was a graduate of Lawrenceburg High School, which is right behind you over here in turn number one, where she was a star basketball player. And in 2013, she got diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. And I believe the tumor, uh, DIPG, is the, is the name of the type of cancer that she had. And her one dream, her one goal in life was to play college basketball. And, and throughout uh, the last 15 months, it's been a roller coaster ride for her, but that was her dream. And she went to the Mount, uh, Mount St. Joseph, which is a Division III college in, uh, in the west side of Cincinnati, Ohio. And her dream was to play college basketball. And the Mount St. Joseph people uh, petitioned the NCAA to try to get uh, the start of the season moved up so that she could play a game of college basketball. And this past November, her dream came true when she was able to play a game of college basketball, scoring the very first points of the game. It was a, it was a sight to see, and it took place on the campus of Xavier University at the Cintas Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. And throughout her entire uh, illness or 15 months, one of the other things that she wanted to do, being diagnosed with this inoperable brain tumor that not a lot of people knew about, she wanted to raise as much money as she could to to fight off um, other other children and other people that were diagnosed with cancer, and in particular DIPG, the type of cancer that she had. And, and she kept increasing this goal monetarily in value that she wanted to reach. And the game that they had in November, one of the other reasons that they moved it up was because, you know, frankly, they had told her, you may not survive until the end of the year, and that would have been the end of this past year. And I tell you what, if you live around here and, and you don't really know the story, um, you know, I, I, I just ask that you maybe pick up the newspaper and read about this this young lady, Lauren Hill, and, and to come full circle, um, she raised over one point, I think it was $1.4 million that she raised. And this story not only captivated this community here, I live on the east side of Cincinnati, so it happened right here in Lawrenceburg. So you folks are, are, are where it all happened. But this is a nationwide story. And I remember waking up yesterday morning, hearing the news that she had passed away, and seeing ESPN report that she had passed away, and Good Morning America and the Today Show, who had documented her story about what she was trying to do to raise money for other people less fortunate and to try to help save lives in the future from this terrible disease that she had. And, and you know, you always hear people say, it's kind of cliche, you know, she lost her battle to cancer, she, you know, but she didn't. And I read something in the newspaper this morning, and it kind of struck me because she didn't lose her battle, and, and she fought her battle, and as far as I'm concerned, she won, because look at how much she did for this community, she did for the nation as a whole. Like I said, LeBron James tweeted about her passing yesterday. That's how big of a deal this was. And, and it just, it breaks my heart. I never got the opportunity to meet Lauren Hill, I sure wish I did. Maybe some of you know her personally and know her family personally. And our hearts and our prayers go out to them as, you know, they deal with a difficult time. I, I, nobody can imagine, um, you know, you can prepare for something like this, but it never truly prepares you for when it happens. And so, um, folks, I just ask you, we're going to take an opportunity here where we're going to have a moment of silence. And as a as a couple tributes to Lauren Hill, we're dedicating tonight's youth sports nights to Lauren Hill. And you can see behind us, we have three race cars sitting out here. Uh, Lauren Hill's basketball number was number 22. You can see that uh, Bobby Gumpf and his son Connor uh, made a couple of 22s that they will take to the, uh, the public visitation at the Cintas Center coming up on Monday. We also have three of our race cars out here that just so happened to uh, have the number 22 on the side of their race cars. We've got Mike Weber here on the on the, this car closest to you in the grandstands, Tony Anderson in the middle, and Tim Schumacher, who um, I'm being told is has some uh, distant relations to Lauren Hill and her family. He decided to run the 22 this year in honor 
of Lauren Hill. On the top of his race car, you can maybe see where it says the Cure Starts Now, which is the name of the foundation that Lauren Hill uh, has been a part of. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just ask that this time what's going to happen is I'm going to ask you for a moment of silence. We're going to fire up these race cars, and they're going to do one parade lap. One parade lap at their pace speed in honor of the memory of Lauren Hill. And at this time, if you would bow your heads, will follow immediately with the invocation followed by the national anthem. Folks, also during that parade lap, you might have seen the 22 balloons in honor of the memory of Lauren Hill that were released, signifying her number in black and orange, the colors of Lawrenceburg High School and Lawrenceburg Tigers. And now, Jackie Vishodapted, our chaplain, for our invocation. Thank you.